a goal for Mohamed Salah today as well. How relieved, pleased are the squad that he is still a Liverpool player after all the talk? Yeah, as you know, it's football. Everybody is talking about everything. Um, but we are really happy. Uh, really happy that he stay. He stayed. Um, we were at least not speaking. Of course, speaking between each other, but like he he wants to stay he want to be here he want to be with us and he stayed and we are really happy great player great great person we need some some guys in the team like him we bl we block that out you know and that, you know mo blocks it out and everyone else you know we let other people talk about that and everything like that but you know our squad you know is what it is and that's you know that's the squad that's going to go forward now that you know with the window shut and everything like that and um, yeah it's about getting the most out of the squad it's about looking forward to the season ahead and and obviously trying to do better than um, what we did uh, last season yeah, like he's the ultimate professional he does he does what he does he's he's you know one of the best players in the world and um, you know he's professional so look he lets other people do the talking he lets other people do you know say what they have to say but he's always been committed to Liverpool we, you know I think you've seen that today with the performance he put in and then um, so um are you concerned if like for us it's you know there's no you know for us there's there's no concern for us Mohamed Salah is a, a Liverpool player and um you know we believe that's that's what's going to be the case for for the foreseeable future through the whole week besides answering questions about it but not from people inside just from people outside so I have no clue nobody came to me and told me something could happen or whatever on Friday, nothing. And um, I'm pretty sure I would have got a call, um, but I didn't. And Mo didn't look for a second like he thought about anything else than about Aston Villa. He's a world-class player, no doubt about that. And um, I'm really pleased he's in my team. No, he didn't tell me, but he didn't have to. He speaks with training performances, with behavior. We had meetings this week and the meeting were not about what we did in the past. It was about what we will do in the future. And by the way, it's only until next week or whatever and then my future is and then he's completely here. He's completely here. The influence of Saudi Arabia, we'll see. I don't know, but in the moment it looks as that's quite influence. It's massive in the moment. Um, I think um, pretty much the worst thing is that the, the transfer window in Saudi Arabia is three weeks longer open. If I'm right, I heard something like that then, at least in Europe. Um, that's not helpful. So there must be UEFA, FIFA must find solutions for that. Um, but in the end, I don't know in this moment what exactly will happen. It is already influential for us, for sure. Um, but we will have to learn to deal with it, and that's what we do. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. Time will show.